Hi, this is High Contrast and you're watching Blade Runners TV. Hello, High Contrast. Welcome to Budapest. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, I'm very well, thank you. It's good to be back in uh, Budapest. Uh, it's been a little while since I was here. I think uh, Ziget Festival was the last time. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful city and I always like playing here. So. Oh, good to hear. You have a quiet busy year. You released an album and started a high contrast live band already. What are your further plans for this year? Um, I'm working on new music already, you know. Uh, I think uh, after you make an album, there often are ideas that you still didn't get onto the album, so there's, there's uh, new, new tracks coming from me soon. And um, mm -hmm. uh, we're doing a little tour with the live band in uh, March, um, mm -hmm. and then some more uh, dates in the summer at festivals. So that's, that's a lot of fun and a, a new experience for me, working with a band. Yeah, uh, a few other things, but maybe I can't talk about them yet. You know. So are you planning a tour? Um, there we, yeah, it's a kind of tour, but uh, it's very expensive to put on a, a live band. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have to see how it goes, uh, whether people like it enough to make it work as a full tour. You made a quiet a lot of remixes for stars like Adia and so uh, do you have any upcoming remixes up your sleeve? Um, I just did a remix for uh, Jonas Blue, a track called Heart Sink and a Lie and that's mm -hmm. just come out and I did a remix for MJ Cole recently as well. Um, but now the album is all done, I can do some more remixes because I, mm -hmm. I do love remixing people. Uh, who would you like to most collaborate with? Maybe uh, Hans Zimmer, that okay. would be interesting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I'm correct, you have studied filmmaking. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try yourself as a composer for motion pictures or maybe as a director? Yeah, both would be good, um, but it's hard to do uh, more than one kind of career at a time, you know. Uh, I keep thinking I will do something with film, but then music draws me back in, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I hope so. Um, it's like a dream of mine, but uh, music is so immediate and, and fun, um, it's hard to step away from it for long enough to concentrate on a film. Are you the type of producer who is always dissatisfied with his music, or do you have certain tracks that you are proud of? Um, yeah, I guess I, I am always dissatisfied. I am a perfectionist and uh, uh, I like coming up with ideas, but then actually finishing the songs is painful, you know. So the first part is just fun because mm -hmm. it's it's just you're making that uh, initial musical idea, but then working on the track mm -hmm. for a long time to perfect it, it it, it can drive you crazy, you know. <laughs> um, so usually when I finish one of my tracks. I kind of move on and I don't really think about it, you know, so I guess there's some tracks over time I hear them again and, you know, I think like Racing Green is a is a quite unique track, you know, there's not many others that sound like that, you know, um, and more recently Remind Me seems to, um, it's one I don't really get sick of myself hearing, so. Uh, if you could have chosen the music in the Tesla Roadster, which was launched in Space by SpaceX recently, hmm. what would you have chosen? Well, they used Space Oddity, is that right? The David uh, Bowie With David Bowie, the uh, Life on Mars. Oh, it was Life on Mars? It was Life on okay. Mars. <laughs> okay, right, yeah. Uh, well, that's the perfect track, and uh, yes, it's one of my favorite songs. So, uh, um, yeah, I mean, it would be tempting to put one of my own songs in there, but really, David Bowie, okay. 
It was the perfect music. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you remember what was the first music that got you in the scheme of drum and bass? I think it was like early metalhead releases in the mid-90s mm -hmm. and, uh, and the Goldie's Timeless album. Um, but definitely that kind of metalhead sound. You know, it was very cinematic. Mm -hmm. Do you have any final words? Um, <laughs> That's the most hard question. We got. Yeah, I'm, I'm a man of few words. Uh, I let the music do the talking. I try, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing tonight. You know, it's, it's always good here. So uh, yeah, I'm raring to go.